Hello, uh, my name is Pranj Gupta and I uh, am the 2012 Gorgas winner. Um, uh, I was a student at Auburn High School and now I'm going to be a freshman at Vanderbilt University. Um, so basically the Gorgas competition is sort of like a three-part process in which the first part is sort of like a college application, the second part is sort of like a science fair, then the th third part is sort of like a, an interview process. You have to fill out a pretty thorough application um, and you can get this on the website and this just asks you your, your basic information, information about your project and then also some things about you and your extracurricular activities, um, your, your scores and things like that. So it's sort of like a college application. Um, the second part is most like a science fair. When they pick the top ten or however many finalists they pick, um, all the finalists meet together at one location. Um, where the Alabama Academy of Sciences is meeting and um, basically you go through a s science fair procedure where you make a tri board or make a poster um, stand in front of it and wait for the judges to come to you and you basically explain explain your project and answer the questions um, the third part of the competition is probably the most rigorous part and this is the interview process when I competed I had to go through ten successive interviews basically ten, ten interviews five to ten minutes each with very little break in between. That's very rigorous. They ask you about your project, they ask you about your, your life, they ask you about your activities, what you think, what you want to be when you grow up, everything, anything you can imagine. All in a very short time, time span, so that's very rigorous. Um, so the, the interview process is really what makes the Gorgas competition different from other the paper reading competition or the uh, or other science fairs. I mean, for example, one thing that's very different is that in the Gorgas competition you have very little time to talk about your project. So what you need to learn in order to, to succeed is how to get the main points of your project across in a very short amount of time and not focus on the small details because the judges, they'll look at your board, you'll talk to them for five minutes and then you go in very quick interviews and they might not even ask you about your project in the interviews. Um, so you really need to learn how to communicate your project quickly and, and, and talk about the main facts. Also, one thing that's vital is to know the background science behind your project. The judges will ask you um, about the background science, so make sure you have a good understanding of your project and the underlying core chemistry and biology or physics or whatever your topic is, the, the, that core material underneath your project. So the biggest tip I have is to be prepared for unexpected questions, questions that you simply can't um, you know, practice for. Or, um, basically the key here is, is to be confident no matter what. And if a judge asks you an unexpected question that just sort of throws you off, you can always talk it out with the judge. And it, the, the judges are there, they're not there to, to throw you down or, or to crush you. They're just there to learn more about your project. Um, and, and if you know the in and out details of your project then you'll be fine and you have no reason to worry so you have to be confident with any question they throw at you um, and basically if you know everything there is to know about your project and your aspect of it and they ask you a question that's outside that realm then don't be afraid to say I don't know because that wasn't part of my project or that's outside the scope of, of this of this research don't be afraid to say that because they just want to know your project and what exactly you did